hello 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 and good evening once again dr j here at ask the gynecologist and tonight i'll be concluding the question and answer session we started yesterday yesterday we opened the floor we went through a lot of questions we answered many questions on infertility fibroid ovarian cysts and a lot of people joined on instagram over here and we recorded on YouTube as well. And also people joined on Facebook here. Today, I'll be running another question and answer session. Like I promised yesterday, we'll be back again today to continue the discussion. So once again, if you have a bit of time, you're free. Join me and let's start uh, together. Like I always do, I won't take too much of your time. But I'll try and ensure that I touch all the most important questions that people might have here. Now, I'm not sure if my audio is good. So if you can hear me well, loud and clear, let me know. If you can hear me well, loud and clear, let me know. If you can't hear me, let me know. So I'll know whether I need to increase or improve my audio as I am over here. So if you can hear me loud and clear, give me some thumbs up. If you can't hear me, let me know. We already have people joining in on Instagram. We have v Vivia, Vivila V, Jenfi, Nancy Zimbo. We have Ako Joy, Neka Bianca. Lizzie Akoha Udense, we have um, Tina Enyam, Zil Anyamu, Fumi Salam, one of our exercise consultants here. Uh, Fumi Salam is a wonderful lady. She has written a book on diet and uh, if you've not purchased that book yet on our page, please try and get that book. We have Osi Deko Sola, Lady Wooks Miki, one of our wonderful ladies. Lady Wooks Miki, wonderful one, lady. Uh, Tosia Jasa, Neka Bianca. She can hear me loud and clear. We have SEO Sir Sylvia, Kate.ng on Instagram. We have Charity Injoku. We'll see there called Daddy Sola says she can hear us loud and clear. Thank you, Daddy Sola. God bless you. Daddy Sola is a wonderful lady. She does, um, um, yeah, she's into event planning and all these uh, gifts and, uh, you know, where, where they uh, personalize gifts. Uh, for some reason, you know, she just uh, follows us all the time. She sent a personalized gift to my office about six months ago. I'm yet to see that gift anyway, because but my secretary has it and she sent me a picture of the gift. So that is all. I thank you so much. She's getting ready for a wonderful day soon. I wish you all the best and I pray for you that God will be with you and God will bless your home and your union by the grace of God. I pray your chuko, Lady Oaks Mickey. Thank you so much. Comfort will fight. We have Akpeje Ochuko, Comfort Bako. We have BJ Pumping on Instagram, Ekemena George, Oluwa something in uh, on Instagram, Olalo Ola Kumbumi on Instagram, Taylor Gebe Allen, Ilori Adesola, Comfort Bako. Thank you guys for coming up to this page on Instagram. So if you want to get your uh, party gift design personalized, please pas patronize uh, Jari Sola. Osidako. She's a wonderful lady, wonderful at heart, and uh, she's got a pure heart and a heart of gold, and she is very, very dedicated, and she takes her job seriously, and she does things amazingly. There's a question already online here from Bumi, Bumi Onoyemi. She's saying that, what is the best drug to treat Staphylococcus aureus? That's the first question here. Hold on. Hold on. Don't forget that you have to ask questions in a way I can read and answer them. If they come too fast, I can't read them. I just freeze. So let questions come one every minute so I can answer them properly before I move to the next one. Nana Yadu Yeboa from Ghana. Blessing Franklin. QSF Ayinkeadeti. She was here yesterday. Yetunde Rachel Akinola. Ayodeli Dupe. Bridget Jenek Jackson, GD, how are you doing? My question is, can ovarian cysts resurface back after it's been removed? Yes. Floral perfumery, our FP. Ovarian cysts can come back. It's very rare though, but it can come back. Next thing is that what, what will make ovarian cysts to come back? Honestly, we don't know. That's the honest truth. But there's some studies that says that if you're using contraceptive pills, the incidence of ovarian cysts will be decreased, especially. So, but nobody knows what makes people have ovarian cysts or fibroid. But even ovarian cysts that has been removed can come back, but it's very, very rare. Okay, it's not that common, but it can happen. But it's not that common, okay? Uh, Dr. Bidi, the Yinkore Enode Akpedi, Agbo Grace, Ogun Summit Teminola, Onyi Ogu, thank you. There's a question here on Instagram. My period is due tomorrow. I took the own test of pregnancy. Is it possible I'm pregnant? 
So you just do your test of pregnancy. And if it's positive, you're pregnant, you're pregnant, you know. If you're pregnant, you're pregnant, okay. Pregnancy does not hide. That's why I always am amazed when people say that uh, they have a uh, crypto pregnancy. Pregnancy does not hide. God's gifts are blessings. They don't hide, okay. All right. Is sperm count 101 okay? If you have one, 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 one million, it's okay. What causes hormonal imbalance? Anything can cause hormonal imbalance. Stress can cause hormonal imbalance. Overweight can cause hormonal imbalance. Over exercise can cause hormonal imbalance. Not having regular exercise can cause hormonal imbalance. And you're, you're on some medications, and you're like all those, um, there's some medication like antidepressants that can cause hormonal imbalance, okay? Good evening, doctor. How are you doing? My question is, after a chemical pregnancy, what can you use to increase getting pregnant again? First of all, if you had a pregnancy that, you know, that miscarried, that's basically chemical pregnancy, that means that, first of all, you can get pregnant naturally. So you don't need anything to take to get pregnant. To have, if you have chemical pregnancy, it's a good sign, first of all, that you can get pregnant on your own. Now, a normal pregnancy can miscarry. That is sad, but that, that is truth. It can, it can happen. So if that happens, just hold on to the good thing that you can get pregnant yourself and then just start to try pregnancy again. Use precision lubricant and have regular intercourse. No particular medication will enhance pregnancy. If a car is good, it's good. If a car is not bad, it's bad. Once you are designed as a woman, you are designed to get pregnant if and whenever you want to. No particular medication will induce you or make you get pregnant faster. Just live normal, healthy, balanced life, regular sex. You use vitamin over care for almost two months. You're feeling breast tenderness. Last period was 30 days instead of five days. What could be the cause? There's nothing wrong with that. So if you just if your period is two days, 30 days before, become five days, five days, 30 days, there's nothing to worry about. These things can happen once in a while. If you want to figure out everything that happens in your body as a woman, you spend millions of dollars and you're not going to get anything. As far as you have a regular period, a day or two difference with your period, particularly per se, does it is not a cause for alarm at all. You were diagnosed with bilateral tubal spasm after a miscarriage. You've been trying things. What, what, what should you do? Now, if you have bilateral tubal spasm, what they're saying is that they, were, they, were, they, they could not get the dye to spill into your tubes, into your tummy during the HSG. It's either your tubes are blocked or you need to repeat the test. Okay? But if the tubes are blocked, then you have to consider IVF. Okay? To get pregnant, okay, four things must be in place. Four things must be in place. Number one, regular sex. Number two, there's no tubal blockage. Number three, you're ovulating. And number four, your husband's sperm count is good. If all these four work together, you get pregnant. If you can't get pregnant, we start focusing on anything that could affect these four primarily. So to carry Victoria BM, wonderful lady of the Wu Allah Foundation. Thank you so much. Elizabeth, thank you, God. Thank you so much for posting the link for our IVF center. And Igweoma Christobel Ogweze. What causes waist pain? Waist pain can be caused by urine infection, appendicitis, uh, ovarian cyst, fibroid, uh, pregnancy, ectopic uh, pregnancy. These things can cause waist pain or even just posterior abnormalities. They can cause waist pain. Uh, can you menstruate and be pregnant? No. If you're pregnant, you're bleeding, you're having a miscarriage. Doctor, you're currently 11 weeks pregnant. You had a scan yesterday on which the doctor said, the placenta is not strong enough and is complained about cramps. There's no, I don't know what they mean by placenta is not strong enough, okay? At 11 weeks, I don't know how anybody will know the function of placenta in Nigeria or on any normal scan. There's no basic test to do on scan at 11 weeks that will tell you whether your placenta is working well or not, okay? The most important thing at 11 weeks is that the baby's heartbeat is there. If it's not there, then there's a problem. If the baby's heartbeat is there, forget about placenta function, okay? As far as baby's heartbeat is there at 11 weeks, that is what you need to know. There's no body that can really test for placenta function at 11 weeks. In fact, it's totally a waste of time. I don't know how they got there. So, but I don't know. Maybe they said something else that, that was different, though. In that case, because, you know, sometimes the doctor will say something to you. But the way you understand it is the way you say it now, obviously. So, probably they said something else, but you understood it in a different way. That is possible. So send your results to me. Let me look at them and they will take it from there. Esther Aguemelon Egenti. Christina Idowu Adeyemi, thank you so much. Can, intram can intramural fiber of 5 cm can intramural fiber of 5 cm prevent pregnancy? Yes and no. Very unlikely. 
But if you've been having recurring miscarriages or you're not able to get pregnant and we, are, and we can see that big fibroid in your body, the best thing will be to remove it before you try it again. <clears throat> fibroid 21 millimeter is too small to cause problem. Most cases, if your fibroid is less than 4 or 5 centimeter, it's not a big problem. But now, it's not just the size, it's the number. If somebody has 4 centimeter fibroid that's about 10 in their womb, that's not good now. But if someone has only one fibroid, solitary fibroid, 4 centimeter, usually it's not, not a problem. So it's not only the size, but the number as well. How many weeks do you hear heartbeats? Usually, from around 5 weeks, 6 weeks, you hear heartbeats. Okay? But... To hear it clearly, usually from seven weeks and above, you hear a bit clearly. Can block tube ovulate? Yes. Ovulation has got nothing to do with block tube or not block tube. For you to ovulate, okay, it's got nothing to do whether your tube is blocked or not. You can ovulate and because the tubes are blocked, the air cannot get into your womb. That's infertility. You may not ovulate at all and the tubes are open. You won't get pregnant. So ovulation is got totally different theory to tubes. Because your car is there does not mean it can go from here to Oshodi, from Agile to Oshodi. The car has to move. There must be no traffic. So if the tubes are blocked, it's got nothing to do with a car able to move or not. The car can move, but if the traffic is blocked, it's causing block, the car will not move. So ovulation and block tube have not got nothing to do with each other. They are totally separate. But if you're ovulating and the tubes is blocked, you can't get pregnant. But you still ovulate. Can someone give birth to C-section November last year and take it again? If you had a C-section, give yourself at least, at least 6 to 12 months full healing before starting to try pregnancy again. Please. High prolactin 29. Can it cause infertility? Yes. 29 is too high. It can cause infertility. Okay? Very good. Let's continue. Let's bring it on. Now, um... Let me try and scroll. I'm trying to scroll down. Fibroid 3, 15, 17 millimeter. If your fibroid, okay, is less than 4 centimeter and it's only one, it's not a big deal. But if you have 3 centimeter fibroid and it's plenty, like about 4 or 5 or 6 of them, it becomes a different thing entirely. So it's not just the quantity, it's also the quality. It's not just the number, it's the size as well. So everything must be put into play holistically, okay? So when we give advice, we have to look at what give advice in the context of a patient not everybody okay so can hormonal injection stop menstrual flow it depends on what hormonal injection you're talking about if you're taking depo uh, depo injection it can stop you from bleeding so it depends on what you're talking about okay there are many hormonal medications or hormonal injection some can be given to you like zolodex they will stop bleeding they will stop period so it depends on what you're talking about okay I know to you it's all medical injection, but to me they are different, different things. You know, it's my job. Hello, Chin and Yen Bernadette, all the way from Australia. How are you today, Chin and Yen? So happy to see you once again here. Wonderful, beautiful lady with a beautiful soul. Thank you, Chin and Yen. God bless you. Okay, we have a question here on Instagram. You did laparoscopic and it, uh, laparoscopic and hysterectomy since January. You can't get pregnant. First of all, if you did hysterectomy, you can't get pregnant again. Hysterectomy means to remove your womb. And if your womb has been removed, you can't get pregnant for life. At least yourself. Now, I don't think what you had over here on Instagram, Oluwa Jomiloju, is hysterectomy. You didn't do hysterectomy. You did probably hysteroscopy. So maybe you did laparoscopy and hysteroscopy. So we looked into your tummy with laparoscopy and we looked into your womb cavity with hysteroscopy. That is to see if you got ovarian cysts or endometriosis through the laparoscopy. We do that to check and to treat. And we look into your womb cavity to treat any endometrial fibroid or polyps with hysteroscopy or to treat any Asherman syndrome. That is what these things are for. Okay? So I don't know what you had done. I think you had laparoscopy and hysteroscopy, not hysterectomy. You ran a hormonal profile test and you were diagnosed with low progesterone 0 0.5, trying to get pregnant. You can't. What is your FSH? What is your LH? Let me go through your results. Come to me through the previous services. I go through your results and we know what is going on. Snow White 501, how are you? How many hours after ovulation does pain can one... Huh? How many hours after ovulation pain can one ovulate? My God. How many hours after ovulation can one ovulate? I don't know. I don't know. How many hours after ovulation pain can, does one ovulate? I don't know. It could be anything. 
How long does one take to does one take folic acid? You take folic acid at least three months before getting pregnant, if possible. If you get pregnant before you complete three months of folic acid, no big deal. In most cases, most babies are fine. But I will tell you to take at least folic acid for at least three months, minimum, worst case scenario, one month before you get pregnant. Can one get pregnant while treating prolactin? Yes, you can get pregnant while treating prolactin. Doctor, thank you, Christina Ido, who are the account. Thank you so much for putting up the links here. You see, if you want to do all your hormonal profile tests to know why you can't get pregnant, we have a laboratory now, ATD laboratory at Agege Lagos State. Just go to the laboratory or call them tomorrow morning and Nick here or Dr. Chioma will go through all the lists and go through all the tests you should have done on your way, on your journey to get pregnant. So if you go through all the results, um, all, all the test lists, give it the price, get them done. And once you do any test at our laboratory, automatically you can send the results to me and I'll review them for free. I saw a question here by Chinenye from Australia. Chinenye said something. I missed that in about the Mayosis. Chinenye, can you please uh, uh, repost your question? What are the ovulation symptoms? Breast pain, breast tenderness, you know, getting irritable, you know, having some dull ache pain in your lower abdomen. Those are common, or even some te temperature change, you feel so warm. Those are common symptoms of ovulation. Okay? What could make one period for three months? When pregnancy has been ruled out, probably you know ovulating, probably you have cervical like stenosis, probably you have Asherman syndrome, probably you you know you, you know you know you are on some medications that make you know to ovulate, probably you're on some antidepressants, maybe you're stressed out. Okay, is it advisable to take fertility drugs after miscarriage because you have every period the next month? Blah blah. blah. If you're able to get pregnant, there's no need to start get, taking medications for nothing for nothing's sake. Because your friend took medication, does not mean you should take medications too. We give th if you know why we do things, and you understand why you need to do things. Okay, if you're able to get pregnant yourself, you're not having any problem with your ovulation. There's no blocked tube. There's no problem with your husband's sperm count. You're having regular sex. Then you don't need any supplements. You need you need your pregnant care. Case closed. Doctor, is pregnant care and conception good for increase ovulation? No, pregnant care, conception, things like that. They don't make you ovulate. I shout that all the time here on the mountain top. These things don't make you ovulate. Pregnant care do not make you ovulate. Pregnant care is designed to reduce the risk of your baby having brain defect or brain malformation or spinal cord defect or spinal cord malformation. Those pregnant care and things like that, conception plus or whatever you call them, do not make you ovulate. They don't make you pregnant. They only prevent of a normal pregnancy from having this defect. Okay? Can you explain adenomyosis and treatment option? option? So, Tinaya is asking a question about adenomyosis. Can we explain about adenomyosis? Now, let, let me take you back to my blackboard here. Okay? Adenomyosis. I think everybody can see my blackboard except on Instagram. So, now this is I mean whiteboard over here so now this is your uh womb so that's your womb okay mm -hmm. and that's the inside the womb okay and that's your your opening of your womb what we call the cervix okay this is the womb here okay now all red every month you bleed from this particular layer inside your womb what we call a uh, 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 layer de desodialis it will bleed every month out okay you bleed every month out from this particular layer okay now that blood you bleed is your menses okay now these these cells that are here they come out every month and that month again you, you have another layer there you regenerate for some reason we don't understand these cells here they move into the wall of the womb okay okay and they make the womb a bit spongy and bulky like, like like a foam so it increases the surface area of the womb and make the womb boggy and bigger than normal now what happens is that because of that during your period you have more pain not heavy bleeding per se but more pain fibroid will cause pain and heavy bleeding but adenomyosis will cause more pain during your period but the funny thing is that we cannot go into your womb and start taking all this adenomyosis out in piece and pieces it's difficult so in most cases, as God will have it, 
they don't stop you from getting pregnant but what they do is they cause pain during your period so what we do is that during your period we give you some good pain medications to reduce the pain during your period or we give you contraception that will reduce the bleeding pain like marina coil things that contain progesterone which will reduce the pain during bleeding and obviously make you not to get pregnant during that time when you have them so that is what we call adenomyosis they don't really stop pregnancy but it can make your period life period menses hell or painful okay doctor you removed fibroid three years ago you were bleeding too much and now you're still bleeding again with clots first of all get a scan fibroids do grow back so get a scan to check your fibroid to see what is new there and what grace anthony thank you and good evening to you i love you so much thank you for being here crystal torch makers basira tafalayon D Falon 87 and we have Fumi Touch. Thank you guys for joining on Instagram again today. Amazing to see you all again. And uh, let's continue. Let's continue. We are here at Ask the Gynecologist and we are also live every day on YouTube. All our videos are arranged sequentially on our YouTube channel and you can watch them at any point in time. You can also share them with your friends everywhere all over the world so they can watch and they can see. Thank you, Chinayin Bernadette, for your question and thank you so much for that. Doctor, you've been trying to get pregnant for four months, but no result. What could be wrong? Are you having regular sex? And when I say regular sex, I mean specifically sex every two to three days. Whether you're ovulating or not, it does not matter if you're ovulating. Don't wait for ovulation to have sex. Do not wait for ovulation to have sex. You must have sex every other day or two to three times a week. The only time you're free from sex, if you plan to get pregnant, is during your period. The only time you're free from sex is during your period. Some people do enjoy sex during their period, though. No biggie. But in terms of getting pregnant, the only time you're free from sex is during your period. Now, good evening, favor anointed Aduke Famsi. Thank you, Christina Ido. You're amazing. Amazing lady. Eddie Doris, thank you so much. Also over here, Toto V saying that you're five weeks pregnant you're still partially something detached. Should you be okay? What is detached? Is it your placenta? It's difficult to see placenta that's detached at five weeks anyway, you know? So I don't know what is detached. Are you making for real? How are you today? I can go gunde, kike lomade, but something. How are you? Tenu Kate. How are you? Tenu Kate, all the way from wherever you're from. We love you. Thank you so much. Can fibroid cause chronic cervicitis? No. Chronic cervicitis is infection that is persistent and recurrent on your cervix. And that will be caused most especially by chlamydia or gonorrhea or by bacterial vaginosis and, and, the, and, the, and the like. Not chronic fibroid. Fibroid has got nothing to do with your cervicitis, okay? Does a significant fluid in a dog glass cause infertility? No. Pouch of dog glass has got nothing to do with infertility. I know people on our Facebook, especially our people, because of the difficulty in seeing doctors or accessing to doctors in Africa, people want to read on Google, on Facebook, or follow us here. But when you read things or listen to things, try and understand the context. Like I explained to people, the pouch of dog glass is a space behind your womb and your bowels. And if you're bleeding from your ectopic pregnancy, the bleeding will go there. If you have infection from your tubes, the pores will go there. If you just ovulate it and your body releases a tiny fluid, it will collect there. So if I see fluid in the part of dog glass of anybody, which is behind the womb, it means nothing and until I know the person's full history. So for example, if I scan somebody, she's not pregnant, she's just ovulated, and I can see fluid in a part of dog glass, very scanty, very little, about 20 mils, I know that that fluid is from my ovulation. If somebody is asked, test of pregnancy, is, neg is positive, I can't see pregnancy in the womb, she's in pain, she's bleeding, it's possibly a tubic pregnancy. I scan her, I see fluid in a part of dog glass, she's possibly having a tubic pregnancy. Somebody's having pain, offensive discharge, she's not pregnant, I scan her, I can see fluid in a part of dog glass, it's probably from a tubal ovarian abscess. So it depends on the person's history that I will know what that fluid in the part of dog glass could mean or not. So you don't just say, uh, the same fluid in the, in the part of dog glass, that means you have this. There's nothing. We have to interpret it in the context of the story itself. In fact, in normal women too, they have fluid in the part of dog glass. So there's nothing wrong. Fibroid 8x8, eight eight, get pregnant. 8x8 eight eight what? 
8 by 8 inches or 8, 8 by 8 centimeter or millimeter. I don't know. What level of polyacrylate is normal? If your polyacrylate is less than 20, it's normal. Okay, in most cases. Can a pregnant woman take Primolu tablet due to previous miscarriage? You can. It's okay. It's safe. Okay. Ellen Alemija. Al Thank you so much. Gloria Ifada. If you want to get your IVF done, we have an IVF center now at ATG, which you must take advantage of. Our IVF cost is 1.1 million if you're using your own sperm and your own egg. If you're using egg donor, sperm donor, egg freezing, then costs are different. Our cost is different, depending on extra things you need. Now, our cost does not include your medications. They're separate. And Nikke and Dr. Chuma, you call them tomorrow, they'll give you all the full lowdown, but take advantage of our uh, discount. If you call tomorrow morning, I give you a discount of 100 grand on top of your full IVF bill. So call tomorrow. Doris Agboro Yuko. If one has been taking folic acid for three months, pregnancy did not occur, what can one do? Yeah. So you can keep on taking your folic acid. It's okay. You take folic acid for at least three months. If you're not getting pregnant, you still want to try to, for pregnancy, continue. If you want to stop trying for pregnancy, you can stop if you want, but continue. Can I take Clomid? Uh, can I take Clomid? Something. Hmm. I didn't see that question. Anyway, let's continue. Ah, I, I've missed the questions now. Okay. Now, about Staph aureus. Staph aureus lives normally on the skin. On this beer, beer, armpits, you know, like that. All those couscous. Staph aureus lives there. Staph aureus does not live in your vagina. In some rare circumstances, we find them in your vagina. And we wait for the results to come. And if there's any antibiotic that is recommended to use to treat, we use it to treat it. Okay? Togo, hello, my sister. What causes waist pain? Serious one. Waist pain can be caused by, by stress at work. No. Back pain. Infection in your ovaries. Urine infection. Bladder infection. Appendicitis. Ectopic pregnancy. All this can cause waist pain. Endometriosis, fibroid. They can cause waist pain. So do ultrasound scan to check the, your ovaries and your womb. Is it true that in your ovulation, there must be sleep mucus? No, it's a lie. You encourage and not the acquired. It's a lie. You don't have to see slippery mucus in your vagina to know you're ovulating. I don't know who brought this lie to this world that you must see mucus to know you're ovulating. It's a big bladder dash. A what? Bad that that's a big one. You don't have to see mucus to know you're ovulating. Some people do see it, but you don't have to see it. Can your center assist to get accommodation during IVF? Yes. At our IVF center, we do have, do have accommodation there because it's a clinic. You know, we don't have, but we have hotels, about three of them that surround us within 10 minutes walking distance. In fact, at our IVF center, next door is a hotel, Ben Otto Hotel. Uh, 10 minutes walking distance, another hotel called Dos Santos Hotel. Okay, and this there are plenty like that around us, so you can stay at any one. But our clinic, we don't have hotel inside our clinic, but around us, next door, and a few doors away, we have hotels there, and they are well good. And tell them you're from Dr. Lala Day, they will look after you. Don't say you're from Dr. Lala Day, ATG, they know me there by the grace of God, they will look after you, and they're gonna give you this card. I don't care, they're doing all the way from United Kingdom. I saw this lady doing a pregnancy in UK. She's a wonderful one and her husband. Congratulations to you on your baby that delivered about a year ago. Congratulations once again to your day doing. Thank you. Ozio Tony, how are you? Lady Grace Baturi, thank you so much for moderating here as well today. Christina Idowu Adeyemi, you've been wonderful. Is lower back pain normal in pregnancy up to a month? If you're pregnant, less than four weeks, you're not going to have pain. It's unlikely. But if you're having pain, four weeks of pregnancy, Go and get a scan and ensure there's no ectopic pregnancy or ovarian cysts causing that pain. Doctor, you have two miscarriages in within 15 months. You don't know the causes. In most cases, there's not, nothing wrong. But first, first things first, go and see a doctor. And let us do some tests. But in most cases... If we don't do tests for miscarriages except we have three miscarriages in a row from the same man. Because we realize from all of these tests that are being done to no cause of miscarriage, they're expensive and in most cases they're inconclusive. They don't give any answers. Okay? So that's why we don't want to do them. But if you want, we can do genetic analysis for yourself or your husband from the last miscarriage 
what we call chromosomal analysis, okay, on that miscarriage pregnancy on yourself, your husband, to know if there's any chromosomal defect. Take some swabs to know if there's any infection. It's always good to know at what stage you miscarried because if baby was already formed, there might be opportunity to do postmortem to know what caused the miscarriages. E.g. I.J. Chukwe, Chef Jane Momo, Vivian Dico Briggs, wonderful sisters. Thank you so much for being here on Instagram. Love you so much. Chinenye, thank you. So I can see Chinenye also here. Chinenye, uh, uh, thank you so much. What is Turner syndrome? Turner syndrome is a chromosome abnormality where uh, there's a missing chromosome and that baby has exo and it's always happening to girls and they have very, very shrunken ovaries or even no ovaries at all and the wombs are very shrunken. It's a developmental problem and a person too can have some developmental defects as well. But in most cases, they don't have any ability to get pregnant. And if they do get pregnant, they might need egg donor or assistance, IVF, to get pregnant. Turner syndrome is a lot bigger than that. But that's what is not null shell. What causes bone discharge that led to miscarriage? Implantation defect, infection, chromosomal abnormalities that can cause miscarriage, can cause bone discharge. Doctor, how many CS can one do? Also, you can do any CS you want, okay? But I will advise you, once you've done two CS, the next one must be a CS. After th that third CS, just stop there. Hold it there and stop it. You're going for fourth C-section, is very risky. It can lead to death. Yeah. Thank you on the screen for putting that. So once you've done any test, Omena Pofa, especially, at ATG Laboratory, Nikke or Chima will give you access to send all the results to me and I will review them for you free of charge. Yes. Part three, part life. We'll talk about five, uh, the goiter in pregnancy. Thank you so much for that. Where can one of our moderators help us take note about uh, goiter in pregnancy? That's our next topic for discussion. How long will you go to home after IVF? Once you've done the IVF egg transfer, you can go home the same day. Usually you rest for about two to three hours and you go home the same day. And in two weeks time after then, we do test of pregnancy to see if you're pregnant or not. Doctor, you have a plastic uterus. Okay, do you have Turner syndrome? No, that means your womb is fine. I'm yet to see a woman that has that doesn't have Turner syndrome that has apoplastic uterus. Apoplastic uterus means that your uterus is small, that doesn't mean you can't get pregnant. Most uterus, if it's not pregnant, it'll be small. Once you're not pregnant, your womb will be sh shrunken like this. Okay, once you're pregnant, it can be as big as my head. So don't worry, at all. don't let anybody stay with all those big, big medical grammar, apoplastic uterus, and clinical adenomyosis. It's all blah, blah, blah. It's all trying to confuse you and make money from you. You can't have apoplastic uterus and be on this screen for me. No, you can't. Go and get another scan at a different scan place and get a second opinion. You don't have it. Okay? Don't let anybody start making you scared of, of apoplastic uterus. No, forget about that. Forget, forget about that. Alma Chinel. Thank you so much. Edna Locks, wonderful. We have a lot of crowd here on Instagram today. Our Instagram channel is booming. Our Facebook channel is totally breakout. And our, uh, you know, it's wonderful. 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 Jessica Osondu, quantum analyzer machine. It's just a machine. It can do any test program. Doesn't matter. So you can, you can dial any phone number with any machine. With any phone, the same thing. Quantum analyzer. You just run your woman or profile, depending on what is fed in, gives you the result. We interpret. Okay, so just go to a reputable lab. Sixty-eight years old can do IVF. Yes, but it could be very dangerous. Okay, all right. Can a pregnant woman take omeprazole capsules? Yes. Uh, can my upper right abdomen is breast is paining me? And your back could it cause ovulation stress? No, no, that's not ovulation at all. Very unlikely. If you're from Ghana, you can go back the same after IVF. Yes, yes, yes. So, IVF, you have to be from Ghana. I don't understand. Well, once we do egg transfer, you wait in the hospital for about two or three hours, some people one hour, and you can go home the same day. Okay, eating spicy food in pregnancy is it safe? Spicy food has got nothing to do with your baby or with yourself in pregnancy. Spicy food has got nothing to do with baby or pregnancy. And you can eat any food, any fruit that is ripe and in season at any time of your life. There's no specific food that is dangerous 
at any time in pregnancy. You want to get pregnant, you want to take Clomid. Why are you taking Clomid? Do you need Clomid? We only give Clomid to people that need Clomid. And if we give people Clomid, we do follicular tracking to monitor them and ensure it's not damaging their ovaries. To have twins, what can you do? Go to IVF center. Yes. If you want to get twins, the best way is to go to IVF and we put two eggs inside or till it's safe. Okay? Please. All right. Jenny, smile. Hello, my sister smiling. How are you? So yesterday we did this question and answer session. We covered a lot of questions. We're here today trying to cover as much ground as possible. And uh, I might be busy tomorrow with some program in the evening. But if I'm not here, that's fine. We'll catch up again. Ilo Kachuku, Kim Kim, can someone with narrow cervix, tilted room, get pregnant with IU high? You can, yes. What effect is anterior implantation during pregnancy? No effect. Implantation can be anywhere in the womb. It's got no effect. You can have implantation anterior, posterior, fonda, anywhere. It's got no effect. You can put your TV anywhere in the room as far as don't put it on, 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 at the door. Can endometriosis stop hormones balance? No. Endometriosis, endometriosis does not affect your hormones. Though. Endometriosis does not affect your hormones. Can you take uh, Clomid? You can take Clomid if you want, but I would advise you, listen to me, take Clomid only by your doctor's prescription so that they can monitor your eggs and your ovary so that you don't kill yourself. But if you don't want to hear me, you can do anything to your body, to your body now. But listen to me, that's why you are here. Don't swallow Clomid, except you are given by a doctor, please. I beg you. What can you eat to get twins? Come and join the seminar this weekend and uh, next weekend. What can you eat? Come and join the seminar. Next. We have a seminar next month, next week, 24th of October, talking about twins. Come and join us. Please, can I use blood to do infection tests? If you want to check infection in your vagina, we do swabs, no, not blood. We use swabs. Swabs. Does a 41-year-old need egg donor? In most cases, yes. But some people are 41 year old, 41-year-old, they don't need the egg donor. But in most cases, once you pass 40, you might need egg donor. But it's not 100% like that, okay? Can someone with multiple fibroid, 59 centimeter get pregnant? Yes, you can. But I'll suggest we remove it. Pineapple is good for anybody and for any pregnancy and for any stage of pregnancy. Pineapple is good for anybody is good for pregnancy and is good for any stage of pregnancy. Just ensure that it's a ripe pineapple and eat in moderation. Eat in moderation. That's all. Chemical pregnancy, what causes it? <laughs> Nothing causes it. Maybe infections, chromosomal abnormality. Chemical pregnancy simply means, I did a video on that, that you got pregnant, but before you saw you realize, you realize that you're pregnant, you miss your period, you pass the pregnancy, and you miscarry. That's all what chemical pregnancy is. I know there was a whole la la about chemical pregnancy on this speech for a while. Chemical pregnancy is simply that you got pregnant. At the time you're expecting your regular period, you already had bleeding, and you miscarried. So you never even realize that you're pregnant. That's all. And maybe at some point, we now do the idea. We did some tests on you, and we know, oh, you're pregnant, or oh, but you miscarry. That's all. Chemical pregnancy is not a big science, it's just a descriptive term. Okay, and anything can cause it. So let me give let me give an example. A woman was expecting a period on October 10. October 10 came, she didn't see a period. Then all of a sudden, she thinks maybe she's pregnant, but she didn't do any test. Then it came up that next week, Tuesday, she started to bleed heavily. Okay? She thinks that that was her period, that she's now bleeding now. That was late for a week. But she now did a test of pregnancy, and it came out positive while she was bleeding. That means that she was already pregnant last week or this week. She didn't know, but the pregnancy miscarried. That was a chemical pregnancy. She cannot. Chemical pregnancy, no pass that one. No. Every other thing you are reading is just confusing you. Chemical pregnancy, no pass that one. It's outborn normal in pregnancy. It's common. It's not normal, but it's common. And it's no problem. It doesn't cause miscarriage. You can take omeprazole. It's safe. It helps to treat heartburn. With even doctor, you have delayed for seven years. Doctor said that your husband has no sperm count. 
you should go for biopsy. Husband declined. Though you have two kids, please can I advise? First of all, how did you get those two, two kids? Was your husband's sperm count good then? If it was good, that's okay. I suggest your husband should do the biopsy. If he doesn't want, no big deal. Then if you still want to have children and two of you agree, you can do sperm donor. But check those two children now. <laughs> Thank you. How much is IVF with egg donor? I don't have it on top of my head. But call my office tomorrow. Dr. Chioma will give you the full cost of IVF with donor egg, please. Okay? Can a person with fibroid of 8 cm and 6 cm uh, with no degeneration get pregnant? Yes. But I suggest you remove it. It's too big. 8 cm is too big. 8 cm, 6 cm. They are quite chunky. Just take them out. How long will it take for someone to just remove 5 years pregnancy to get pregnant? As soon as possible. If you just remove family planning, you just removed it, you can get pregnant as soon as possible within six to eight weeks. As far as you're ovulating and there's no blockage in your sperm and in your, in your tube. Is it okay to get hysteroscopy done after three weeks of miscarriage? To know the reason. It's okay, it's safe, it's okay. What causes blood in the urine? Infection, yeah, uh, kidney stone, or, mis or maybe you, you pee and there was blood from vagina and it mixed with the blood. So all these things can cause blood in the urine. Can you treat infected tubes? If you have infection in your tube, treat it as soon as possible. But the problem is that it may have, it may have caused damage already. Iloka Oluchuku fibroid, 34, uh, 3 cm fibroid, 3.4. Can it exist with the... Yes. 3 cm fibroid can exist with the baby. I've seen fibroid of 6 cm with the baby. But in most cases, I'll remove it before you get pregnant. But if you're pregnant already and fibroid was found, we leave it alone. Once you deliver, it will shrink or we take it out later. What causes egg not to rupture? Maybe you have polycystic ovarian syndrome. Okay? Good. PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, might cause eggs not to rupture. Ijoma Stephanie. Ijoma Stephanie. Doctor, what does implantation bleeding cause? Little cramps. No. Impl impl bleeding implantation does not cause cramps. What can I do to get pregnant? You had a one profile test with hypolactane. Is back to normal. Once the prolactin is back to normal, stay on the dose of, of medication that you took to make it normal and continue to have regular sex every other day using pre seed lubricant at every sex round you have, whatever the style. What is the normal color of discharge in pregnancy? Clear discharge. I'm 40 years old, you did CS in February. Can you get pregnant by December? Yes, by having regular sex with your husband. Have regular sex. Doctor, what causes fiber degeneration? It's caused when the fiber is too big that it outgrows its blood supply. It will cause degeneration that can cause pain. When the fiber grows too big and it overgrows its blood supply, okay? Can a very small fiber shrink on its own? Possibly. Usually after delivery or once you get that, it's 40, 50 years old, it starts to shrink on their own. What causes delay in, get, in not getting pregnant? Delays in getting pregnant can be caused by you not having regular sex, by you not ovulating, by your tube being blocked, or by you not ovulating. How can you avoid chemical pregnancy? You know, it's, uh, you know, you, you know there, I, I don't know. I don't know how you can avoid chemical pregnancy. I, I honestly don't know. I don't know, honestly. What causes miscarriage? Infection, chromosome abnormalities, fibroid, um, antiphospholipid syndrome, uh, and you know, this is can cause miscarriage, okay? All right, so I don't know how you can avoid uh chemical pregnancy. I, I don't know. You've tried clobin for four cycles, it's not working. It's time for you to go and consider IVF with egg donor. This is like where they will me. How are you, doctor? You're having mild cramps, you're positive today. Very, very good. Do a scan to check for the pregnancy and see where the pregnancy is. If you can't see the pregnancy on scan, then repeat the scan in about two to three weeks down the line. But if the pain is getting worse, then you, it might be a tubic pregnancy. Get a second opinion scan, okay? That's a 612 kitchen. Okay, thank you guys for being here today. I really appreciate you. My mouth is now dry. So we catch, again up, catch up again maybe on Thursday, all things being equal, okay? If you've not yet registered for the seminar coming up on the 24th of October, of October 9 p.m., that's a Sunday, Go and register now. It's going to be an amazing time. It's a free seminar, free of charge. And if you want to consult with me one-on-one -on -one as to go through your results with you 
as a doctor and you can use our premium services. We have the platinum service, the diamond service, the gold service, the monthly service, and the weekly one. You can also do your test at the HD laboratories in Lagos. And once you do your test of our profile at our laboratory, I automatically will review your results for you. They'll give you my number and I use, you send the results there. I'll review them for you free of charge. But you must do your test at our laboratory to get that free uh, sub. Once you do, you've done your test at our laboratory anyway, you're automatically a premium services member, a gold service member. Once you do your test at our laboratory, you're automatically a gold service member because you deserve it. Thank you once again. I hope to see you on, in 48 hours. God bless you. Love you all. Bye-bye.